Welcome back. Today, Tiny Tony and I are taking the MGZS for a bit of a cruise. What do you reckon, mate? Eh, it's alright. How long have we had it? I would say about six months. Okay, how many k's have we done in it? 10,000. Yep, it's just had its first 10,000 k service. And, uh, well, we'll run you through it. Let's go. Yeah. So we're off on our little tour. Anthony, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? How much power does this thing have? 84 kilowatts, which is, well, in horsepower, 112. It does 150 new meters of torque at 4,500 RPM. Yeah, it's not, it's not overly powerful, but for cruising around in the city it's it's very comfortable uh well not really not really what not really comfortable you don't think it's comfortable no how so it's because like the suspension is really stiff in my opinion it is quite stiff suspension for our roads i'll have to agree with that but the seating position is is quite nice yeah are you comfortable sitting here on smooth roads it's nice but, um and with that with the tar sealed roads, we're starting to already hear some rattles coming from under the dash. A few little vibrations here and there because it's all, you know, it's all pretty hard plastic and I imagine underneath it's the same, so it vibrates a fair bit. How much fuel does it use, man? Uh, 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres combined. It has six airbags around the car like inside. Ooh, that's good. A 1.5 litre four cylinder, four speed auto, yep. no temperature gauge. Yeah, the temperature has a has a light for when, which shines blue when it's cold, which goes out when the engine's up to temperature. It doesn't have an actual gauge, which I find a bit annoying. And it has no Android auto, which according to my dad is very annoying. It's alright if you have an iPhone, it's really good. It does have Apple CarPlay and it works quite well and it's got a pretty good entertainment system. Adjustable steering. Yeah, it has a has adjustable steering feel. So if it's too hard you can make it really light or you can make it a little bit stiffer if you want. It's uh it's quite unusual. I haven't seen it in any other cars. It's got a nice deep boot. You can put uh it, it's actually quite a sizey little car. It's almost it's almost a family size car. I mean, we'd, we could probably fit the family of four and enough luggage to go away for a few days in here, no worries. The seat material, I, I, I said it was leather, but it's not. And it's leather style and it gets, it gets very hot, hot in the summer, so I would suggest sitting on a blanket or something on a, on a sunny day. It's not unfun to drive, it's actually... It feels sporty to sit in, even though it's low on performance. But you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad for a little city car. Uh, what was the price range, Tony? Between tw 20 and 25 grand. Yeah, on the road. So it's pretty cheap as far as SUVs go. And as far as durability goes, well, we've done 10,000, and we'll uh, just have to wait and see just how many we get out of them. And this is my mom's car and she loves it. Yep, yeah, she loves it. It's, it sits quite tall on the road, so you've got a you've got a good field of vision and it's comfortable and easy to drive. A very, very uh, light steering. The horn is Ooh, let's test it. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> but it's a little city car, so that's pretty much what you expect. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see more content, please hit that big thumbs up button and subscribe. Alright, see ya. See ya.